In this video, we will look at an age problem, where we are given the sum of the ages in the past. With age problems, we like to organize our information in a tic-tac-toe type table. First column is for the name, the second column for the age right now, and the third column for the change, which we'll fill in in a moment. Here we have Carmen is 12 years older than David. Five years ago, the sum of their ages was 28. We want to know how old are they now. The names are Carmen and David. We'll represent them with C and D. Right now, we're told that Carmen is 12 years older than David. This tells us information about Carmen being 12 years older, but nothing really about David. Let's make David our variable. David right now is an unknown x. Carmen is 12 years older. To get 12 years older than x, or 12 more than x, we have to add 12 to that unknown age. Next piece of information we're given is 5 years ago. Stop there. This tells us the change. 5 years ago is in the past. To back up, we need to subtract those 5 years off. This means we're going to subtract 5 from each of the now cells. Carmen, x plus 12, when we subtract 5, we're left with just x plus 7. David, when we just have x and subtract 5 off, we just simply have x minus 5. Now that the table is complete, let's look at what happened 5 years ago. The sum of their ages was 28. To get the sum of their ages, sum means we're adding Carmen plus David. And it was, which is the past of is, or equals, 28. Notice I make this equation without worrying about the table or the time change. I simply show that the sum of C and D is 28. Once I have this, I'm now ready to marry the table and the equation, replacing C with the cell that represents C from the past, the x plus 7. We can also replace D with the cell that represents D from the past, the x minus 5. This still equals 28. We now have an equation we can solve quite nicely by combining like terms, 2x and positive 2 equals 28. Subtracting 2 from both sides, 2x equals 26. And finally, dividing both sides by 2 to find out that x is equal to 13. We now have x is 13, and if we look at our table, we see x represents d, or David's age now, to be 13. To find Carmen's age, we look at our now table and see Carmen now is x plus 12. Replacing the x with 13, 13 plus 12 tells us that Carmen's age is 25. We now know their ages. Carmen is 12 years older than David, and 5 years ago, the sum of their ages would have been 28. By organizing our information in a table, looking at the now and the change, also looking at what happened in the change, and marrying the table and the equation, we'll quickly solve the problem for our unknown ages.